Hey everybody, welcome to Evan's quick tech tips. Let's make this one quick. Here's a video on how to fix most cable box issues that you may come across. Sometimes you come home from a hard day's work and you want to watch TV, but you have a, an error on the TV. What? I don't have time for this. I just want my TV to work. You may see an error code, but most error codes have the same troubleshooting steps. So if your error code on your screen is different than mine, don't worry about it. If you follow the same steps, it should resolve it. So here I am trying to watch this amazing movie and I got this error code. What is this even? RDK03053? What is that? What is it? What, what should I do? So now I'm going to take a look at this box. You may think, wow, maybe I should just unplug this box. You might think that works. So let's see what happens if we unplug this box. After about 30 seconds to a minute, you can go ahead and plug that power cable back in. Now you can see this box is booting up. It can take a few minutes for the box to turn on. If unplugging the power to this box resolves the issue, that's great. We're done here. But if it doesn't, let's keep going and try to figure out the issue. So we tried resolving the issue by unplugging the power to this little box. And it didn't work. You may be giving up at this point, but don't give up. Never give up. There's more to do. Look for a box that's quite larger. It looks kind of like this. So it's a very large box. It's like this. You can think of it like a router. This box routes the video signal to this device. So if there's an issue with the routing, what you need to do is focus on this box. Go ahead and look for the TV that is using this box. It looks different than all the other ones. It's much larger. What you need to do is look for the power cable, which looks like this. So as you can see here, This is not what it looks like. So I was holding the wrong cable. But that just harkens back to what everyone says, the cliche that uh, nobody's perfect. Um, you can't know everything, as they say. So look for a port that looks like this. This is the power cable port. Whatever cable is plugged into here, you unplug for about eh, 20 to 30 seconds. Plug it back in and allow for about five minutes for the box to boot up. After about five minutes, go check on the TV that you're trying to resolve. This kind. After unplugging this one, go back to the TV that you initially had issues with and see if it's working. So let's go ahead and check out my TV and see if I have resolved the issue. So here we are waiting for the box to boot up. Let's see what happens. Boom! Step Brothers is here. So it looks like after rebooting the gateway or the router, the main box, it is now successfully sending the video signal to our secondary box, which is the smaller box. Most issues are resolved by following these steps. You can think of it as this box is like a router or a modem, and this box is like a computer. So this big box is sending the signal to this smaller box. If you have any issues, most are resolved by rebooting this one, the big one, the router, not the smaller one. So give that a try. If it's still not working, you may want to call your video service provider for more assistance, but I'm confident that if you do these few steps, you'll probably never have to call your service provider ever again. And isn't that fantastic? Because who wants to stay on hold to talk to these bozos, you know what I mean? So just solve it yourself. Simple as that.